Well, they're jumping into it. Um, I'm going to get things sorted on their end. <clears throat> on the other end, sorry. Um, but Three, this will at least be on. One, <laughs> so that's all sorted. I just need to quickly write the date out. And that is sorted. Cool. Enjoy while I go sort this other thing out. Because uh, I, yeah, I need a mod test or another mod. Alright, that should be sorted. Hopefully there's going to be a mod going over that way soon. And meanwhile, Octave is playing Incineroar. That's an interesting thing. I don't think I've ever seen him play Incineroar before. So, let's see if he sticks with this Incin. John Barrett is playing the big old Diddy Kong. Not Diddy. Donkey Kong, you know, the bigger one. And Octave and John both on two stocks each, so not on just much to talk about, especially when I'm having to sort like other things, multiple things out at once. But you know, here we are, Pokemon Stadium two, pretty neutral stage, and obviously a good one to pick the first time around. I honestly want to know why. Uh, sort that out. I kind of want to know why uh, Octave is playing Incin. Guess just testing out the secondary and Incineroar is actually pretty good in comparison to quite a lot of other characters that people think like you think Incineroar mid tier, eh. Especially with the weight. Probably high mid tier at least. We're seeing that happen right now as well. Tontave is Currently a stock up in the lead and doing quite a lot of damage into the Donkey Kong. Only 92 dealt onto him. He's going for a ride. Bringing the Donkey Kong up to 91% and probably within death percent as well. Get a good old F smash. Maybe an up smash at this point as well. Absolutely rolling all over John at the moment. But that is potentially going to be it. No imagine to make it back. And there's that F smash and that will find it. Bit of a wacky hitbox there, but Octave takes the first game. Alright. <laughs> John immediately uh, asking what's going on about that hitbox there <laughs> in the Smash CG chat, and you know what? Fair enough, that was a very wacky hitbox. And Sonoro has some very interesting and pretty powerful uh, smash attacks. You don't always see that often. But Octave sticking with the Incineroar. So maybe we're going to be seeing an Incineroar only run until he loses? Don't know. Honestly, wouldn't be surprised though. At this point, you might as well go on with it, and it, it's working so far. So we move to town and city. You want a Pac-Man victim? <laughs> you know, that's fair enough. <laughs> and like, it's surprising. I didn't realize like Octave had like a, a good of this good of an incineral. Whether that's just Incineroar is stupid easy to play, or, you know, playing, playing uh, Incineroar quite a bit. Like, doing quite a lot of damage to John pretty early on as well. <laughs> okay. In the Donkey Punch, powering straight through, but making it back onto stage. Narrowly avoiding that one, but gets hit by the up B, sent off to the left side, but makes it back rather easily. But the percents kind of have been evened up. Both of them are at kill percent within each other. So, 
This game is still pretty even. It's not one-sided or anything. But that should be the first stock taken. And it is with the up throw. And a taunt coming out as well. So he's feeling himself a little bit, but at 142, 46% now. Probably going to be losing this stock rather easily, but gets the revenge in as well. This is a uh, potential to get quite a lot of damage in a very short amount of time. Man, <laughs> going for that down there off stage as well. He's been feeling himself a little bit. John is having issues getting in, getting called out. Quite a few of his mistakes and overused moves. And he's unable to find this stock, but does manage to find it finally after taking 92% onto him. And Noctiv immediately coming out with the uh, the aerial attack. And Grapple probably would have taken that stock as well, but now he's making it back and avoiding both of them. Making it back onto stage, but using and potentially wasting that neutral B and losing a stock to it. Octave sitting fairly comfortably but does get called out pretty damn instantly for that. <laughs> John perfectly waiting out for that revenge and punishing pretty heavily for it and Octave almost bending the way off stage that time as well and ooh, John's wanting this one done. Is that it? That is indeed it. John managing to take the second game after running quite a bit back most of the time. But that is what happens when you play an Incineroar and you get gimped quite easily and at the end there Octave kind of forgot how Incineroar uh, has a troubling time getting back onto stage sometimes. And kind of waited too far off stage while John just stood there or floated there menacingly. So. We move on further 1-1 one, one, and I think the characters are the same. Indeed they are. So obviously whoever wins this moves themselves into winner semi-finals and if John wins this is technically an upset as upset as Octave is top seed currently but both of these players have potential to go fairly big in this matchup and there's already a lariat. Both of them playing rather explosively as well. Watching around the stage there mixing it back in. Gets punished for a bit of a misspaced lariat, but immediately answered back. <laughs> Gets caught by the uppie, that won't be enough to kill just yet. Maybe at ledge though, but does give a chance to get into an opportunity, but misses it. Getting caught out by that up B as well needs to, because it's being used quite a bit by John. And knows what he's doing with it, or at least he's getting away with using it whenever. <laughs> Trade on that hit will save Octave's stock and allow him to get the first stock within a minute of the game starting, but 161%. You're not going to be holding onto this stock much longer, so you might as well try to get as much damage done as possible. And in that obviously is, is, is his intention, but does get roll around grabbed and back thrown off the stage. Equal stocks, even percents. And ooh, Octave almost getting punished heavily again for that mistimed revenge. To find a Larry at this time, getting a dare will be able to convert off that a little bit. One of the interactions at ledge seem to be rather similar each time and time around. And I don't think they're going to really be changing too much. <laughs> Both of them managing to like uh, power through their own moves. This is still looking like a pretty even game, roughly even percents. Though I think John potentially has the advantage with kill potential right now. Well, that's not to put anything out. This is most likely going to be a back throw, and that will find the stock. And now John on the last stock of this set. Probably will need to find this stock as soon as possible. Otherwise, Octave will just run away with it. And then again, at 138%, you're potentially going to die to that, and that is it. Equal stocks each. It's a last stock, last set. Well, last game even. And 
it looks like Octave is feeling a little defensive and having issues getting in, and that is actually his stock. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> that is absolutely his stock, and John takes that one. Perfectly calling out that uh, up the recovery with the donkey punch.